Today is a very important day for me. I prepared for the exam by practicing the sample tests over and over again and learning definitions from various textbooks. I think I am well prepared. I feel very, very relaxed, very confident, uh, hoping to do very well. Preparation wise, I did various things revised from textbooks, sample papers. Uh, sample tests, various resources given by Interhex, which is very, very useful. So, yes, my preparation was top spot. I've been using my A level books um, and I've been using some materials that the um, Interhex has pulled together. Um, it's been quite useful, and we've also had some um, sessions with the teachers to go through some of the sample tests. Um, which has been really, really useful. I think it's going to go okay. I mean, I've done a lot of revision and preparation, so, and I've checked the answers, so I think, I don't think it's going to be easy, easy, but I don't think it's going to be hard, hard, so hopefully in the middle, and hopefully I do well. Everyone seems very nice. Just chatting with some few students over there, getting to know people before the exam, and uh, yeah, it's all very positive so far. I thought I was well prepared for the exam really uh, via Interhex who gave me a lot of preparation looking through my A-levels and therefore I was a lot more confident going into both the biology and chemistry exam. Accessibility with the Interhex is very easy, uh, looking through Facebook, they provide you information within a few seconds uh, and they've really supported me um, as well as um, because I'm going to go away from home, they've supported me really a lot emotionally as well, they've given me a lot of advice here for the test and I think I'm really well prepared. A very calm, peaceful environment, which is needed for every exam you take. So yeah, the hotel and the location provided by Intex is very good. And then we've got you know snacks and things just to help us relax and just you know get ready and kind of like meet all the other students at the same time. So it's 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 good. Yeah, I like I like the atmosphere. The exam it was it was good. Um, I did the biology one first, then I did the chemistry one. Um, we had plenty of time to do it, so li everyone, like literally, I think the majority of people are out and we've still got like an another hour left. We get an email back in 10 days to see if we've passed or not, and hopefully it'll be good news. Today's test, I believe, was, uh, was quite relatable to my practice papers that I did, and I think the material they provided was uh, amazing. Uh, so that helped me a lot in this exam, and I think it did pretty well. Uh, hopefully I get in. Uh, the exam was, uh, it was actually amazing. I was expecting it to be much harder than it actually was, but I guess with proper revision and preparation, uh, it turned out to be quite awesome. I enjoyed it, to be honest. I found the exam quite, quite good. It was quite um, a relief to finally have done it after preparing so well. So yeah, it was, it was, it was, I'm just relieved actually, because it's like the final hurdle and um, now I can actually look forward to going to university. I found preparation for the exam quite good because Intex provided the sufficient, like, not documents, the sufficient um, materials to revise from and um, when you actually sit down in the exam everything like comes flooding back in and it's quite like, it's quite nice because you've already seen a lot of the material before and you've, you've, it's, it just flows off your mind quite easily so it's quite a relief. I am quite eager to study. I think medicine is a course I really want to do and love do. Seems like a good place to study it abroad, apart from in England. Plovdiv, yeah, again, I said it's a very peaceful, very good, relaxed sort of city. Uh, slightly different uh, to UK cities, so you can explore various cultures and various traditions. And yeah, it's a, I've heard it's a very reputed, very good university, so I'm looking very forward to it.